So watching some videos and stuff and uh, looking online at, looks to me like this 04 uh, Chevy 1500 Silverado. Mostly people don't like the rusting issues, which of course that's what's happened to Andy's already. The one he's had is just so rotted out, there's no fixing it. Um, that's why we're going as far down as south as Delaware to see if we can find a non-salted one. So, but other than that, there's not a whole lot to complain about. Everybody loves the, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Pishrod V8 uh, Chevy motors are bulletproof pretty much. Their LS swaps are going on everywhere where people are yanking them out of these old trucks and cars and just putting them in other stuff because they're a great motor. And the uh, transmissions, you can get them pretty reasonable. Uh, actually, you could keep his around for a couple years for parts if you wanted to, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to his little trip tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, be looking over a couple things, you know, obviously. You know, check for the ticky lifter, which I guess they all have pretty much. I know my buddy Eddie's always complained about his ticking like crazy. But it, it, it's it gone 100,000 miles ticking. So, you know, if something's going to break, it should have broke by now. His is another truck that's starting to rot out pretty bad. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to that trip tomorrow. You like the GoPro camera. So we're on our way to Delaware to go find Andy's truck with a whole lot less rust with any luck. <laughs> hey, that's kind of poetic. Anyway, what do you think, Ref? Probably shouldn't mention you're playing hooky today. Yeah. Especially since we're going to put it on the internet. You know? Yeah, not that big of a deal. So this is <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. No, this is an educational trip anyway. Why else would you drive five hours one way? <laughs> To find a truck. A little cooler. So cool. Yeah. It's the beginning of an adventure. Cooler than the last time we went out to uh, Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Arizona. Well, there's nothing like being stuck in the middle of the desert about 90 miles from France, New Mexico, <laughs> which is the middle of nowhere. Wow. Yeah, that was out. Yeah, this is a little more populated through here. Going down the PA Turnpike. Started that trip it was uh, over 100 degrees. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. It got colder as we went too. Yeah, it did. Like 40. Did you guys fly out? <laughs> it was cold at night in the desert when the uh, idler pulley came off the porch. <laughs> So we're coming down to Delaware, where they don't get snow. We're in Delaware now. Where they don't use salt. Because we don't know if they use salt thing. on the roads, but they sure as heck get snow. Because we're, we're in a snowstorm driving down here. Funny stuff. <laughs> Coastal Highway, Route 1, comes all the way up from Florida, I think, and just kind of runs all the way up the coast. It'd be a long ride if you went all the way from Florida all the way up. I think it goes all the way to Maine. But it's kind of neat. Got some neat things to see. I mean, I like the ocean. I'm following Andy, he bought that truck after all, so we're uh, heading back home now. We're going to stop at Cracker Barrel, get something to eat. It's a good place to go, and Griffin's dying to have a rainbow trout fillet. I'm looking forward to catfish, so that's our plan now. I'll drive on home. Probably get home, I don't know. It's 1 o'clock now. I'll figure an hour for eating, another 5, so 7, 8 o'clock. Probably should be home, uh, barring no problems or issues. Not a tick. All right, that's good stuff. Now there is one on mine. The red one. The red one, <laughs> which has seen better days. It doesn't take that long up here in the great wilds of Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, the old girl did rot pretty bad. I mean, it's. You know, the thing is, I got. You can poke your fingers through it. New for, it. for this? Oh, yeah, well, they'll work on the other truck. The uh, tire 
tires were going flat all the time. Oh, because rust on the bead? That's exactly right. Oh, is it aluminum? Were they aluminum wheels? No, they're steel. And they were rusty, very rusty. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, but really, Johnny, you take it. Replace the box, replace the fenders, get a new truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Use car salesman? <laughs> uh, maybe. All right, so we got this truck back. Oh, I'm down to 16% already. Right. This thing sucks battery down like crazy. So the one little thing is underneath the doors, we got some rust we want to take care of. It looks there's like there's some metal down here too. Yeah, there is. It looks like it's, um, you know, coming right away. I don't know if you can even see that. It looks like it's pretty dark in the film. But anyway, that's all that's wrong with that truck, really. Yep. That and Andy already fixed this, which was exciting. The new hinges I was complaining about when we went to look at it. Both of them in there, nice, nice and right. Where'd you get them, Andy? Um, Amazon. Yeah. 21 bucks. Amazon, 21 bucks. How do you beat that? Now it works perfect like it's supposed to. Yep, brand new. Awesome. So well, you're a happy camper. I am. Yeah, we got the truck for, what, he knocked 1,200 bucks off the asking price. That's exactly right. Yep, because a little bit of rust on the bottom of the doors. Not bad. All right, man, congratulations. Enjoy your new truck.